Fun fact about me, for about 10 years, just over, I think 11 maybe, I didn't take my wedding ring off of my finger. What symbol did you give of your love? Ring. Everything I did, did it with the wedding ring on there. Over that time, my finger got a little bit bigger, the ring started to feel a little bit smaller, and near the end of it, I started doing a lot of like barbell workouts, pull-up workouts and stuff like that. It just started really getting hurt, like blisters and stuff. So then, one day, after all that time, I took it off and I take it off for workouts. I don't know what the, I don't know what the moral, I don't know what the moral of that is. Sometimes things just don't have meaning, you know? We're the ones that give things meaning. What I mean by that is just that humans are meaning creators. Like, we love to just create meaning or think that certain things mean other things. It's part of the reason superstition exists. It's really good in a lot of ways. It's like pattern recognition, you know? It's part of why we're successful as a species. But I think oftentimes it can actually be extremely harmful because we read into things further than we should be reading into them and create meaning where there is none, and then that can like mess up your whole day or mess up how you interact with somebody. Don't get me wrong, I am a 100% believer in listening to your gut and doing what your gut is telling you to do. Huge believer, more now in my life than I have ever been. But because I believe that so strongly, I think I also very strongly have to believe and be intentional about not attributing meaning to things that are potentially meaningless. A little philosophical this morning. To expand just a tick further, the wedding ring itself, the symbol of the wedding ring, is something that has incredible meaning to me. Like, one of the most meaningful objects that I own. 100% believe you gotta give meaning to things in your life and then take that really seriously. Those are like values, you know? Like, that's like stuff to live by. The issue comes when we start sort of applying that too broadly, giving meaning to stuff that doesn't have meaning or shouldn't have meaning, and then allowing that to negatively affect us. A little philosophical this morning, code man. I like it, I like it. Hey Siri, text Tim Lebo, I'm on my way, exclamation point. Tim is one of my friends who I've been incredibly open with about ADHD and like uh, how it affects me and stuff like that. And I was thinking about texting him, I hadn't texted him yet, he texted me. He was like, hey man, just let me know when you're on your way. Like without any prompting, you know? And I don't want people to make accommodations for me all the time. I think it's come from like, you know, not wanting to need help, which is maybe something I could work on. But when someone does make accommodations for me, or is just kind of cool with like, yeah, yeah, dude, like I know that about you. I don't know, that makes me feel really loved. So, thanks, Tim. Jimmy Donald says three ingredients to his 10X process are one, thinking exponentially and nonlinearly bigger. Two, hyper focusing on quality over quantity. And three, building a team to handle the 80% so you can focus and improve in your craft. Made it. I forgot to add, you finished it now, but what were you? Uh, chai what, tea, always chai, chai tea. tea. Oh, yeah. with milk or? Milk, milk, no, it's it, standard. It creamy. Oh dude, it's so good. <laughs> you parked out the Yep. Thank you so much. We'll talk soon. Yep. Just so life-giving meeting up with that guy. Creative, entrepreneur, big-minded, abundance mentality. Tim, wow, dude, wow. There's a pickleball court over here in Carlisle and there's people playing. Super hard to leave playing, but quick little lunch break, little 50 minutes of activity. I love pickleballers. So I'm welcoming, I'm pretty sure this is a closed group and they just let me in and there was like a person out every single game because I was there. Come on, pickleballers, let's go. Select This may not come as a surprise to you, but I'm the type of person who smiles at basically everybody 
I make eye contact with. And I just feel like that makes my life happier. I don't know necessarily like if it, I, other people might think it's weird or like why is this guy smiling at me? It's actually just more about me. Like I just feel happier when I smile at people and I don't think it's bad for the world. So like maybe try it if you want to be happier. Check it out, Anne got us a new shower head. Well, I mean, she got herself. She got herself a new shower head for Christmas. But like, you know, she got it for Christmas, but I get to benefit from it, obviously. Oh yeah. Just for reference, this is our old one. Remember that one? It's, I mean, it's nice because it's got the it's got the the thing. But like, I like how uh, I like how wide the water pattern is on the new one. I'm just telling you about my shower. So I made an Amazon, uh-uh, it's gonna get heated. Probably can't see anything. I made an Amazon review of the shower head. Kinda made me wanna start a whole YouTube channel just making Amazon reviews of shower heads. Different showers, wouldn't that be a fun YouTube channel? Just reviews. Could be lucrative, and I don't mind taking vids of taking showers for some reason. I would definitely have to figure out this uh, this fogging situation though. You know what you probably do, just take cold showers. But I like hot showers. I don't know if the vlog knows what you do. You should tell us. Oh, I'm a therapist. <laughs> Mondays and Thursdays you meet with clients. Yeah, and now probably Tuesdays too. I've got 35, 40 minutes until the kids get home off the bus. So the goal is to just in that 40 minutes, get as many video edits cranked out as humanly possible. Let's go. Deadlines. Deadlines, deadlines, deadlines. Make things easier. 